Hello, this is Travis White with New Blue Effects, and today I'm going to be showing you a new feature in Titler Pro 3 called Quick Edit. This is an interface to allow you to change text, to change images, to change video right within a title without going into a full design experience. Quick Edit will also allow you to manage multiple titles on your project timeline. Now the best way to communicate what this can do is to show you. So let's go ahead and start putting different instances of Title or Pro on the timeline and you'll see how to work with Quick Edit from there. The first step we're going to do is go into our bin, go find Title or Pro, and drag this down, or uh, bin being an effect library, and drop it to a clip and up pops Quick Edit. Now, if you're a previous user of Title or Pro, what would typically pop up is the Title Designer, as what we called Title or Pro uh, before, and now we're calling Title Designer. If you want that kind of behavior and you want to skip this altogether, you can do that by going into Settings and choose Always Open to Title Designer, and this will get you back to the full design experience. But we're going to walk through all the conveniences and the efficiencies of using Quick Edit, and I think you'll be very pleased. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Title Designer via this button right here and open up an instance of Title or Pro in the Title Designer interface. I'm going to double click and get to full screen. Now we're not going to work with uh, all the different things you can do to make a design in this particular tutorial so I'm just going to go ahead and open up a recent project I had and here we go. If we go ahead and play this we have Fit Body Training. This is a piece that has simple transitions on there uh, has two paragraphs. Now one thing that's new about any title that you make is you have this opportunity in the object tab for text strings such as fit body uh, to put a text variable. You can see this text variable is checked off and you can give it a label like text01. Let's call this uh, something different. Let's say heading1 and now we can click to this other paragraph that says training and this also you can turn on a text variable and call heading 2. Label it anything you want. So let's go ahead and close this down and now right here on the timeline you have fit body training. If you open up again you'll see that we come to quick edit and you have these fields available to you. Heading 1 and heading 2. Fit body and training. So maybe we want to say something instead like La Mesa training. Hit enter and now we have La Mesa training happening right there. You can also play that within our quick edit. We can scrub and see what's going on there. And right here are all the instances of different titles that I have in the timeline. Now I've already applied instances of title to these different clips, but we're going to move on to see what it looks like when you use a template to affect multiple titles. So let's go and scrub in the timeline to a new location. We have this interview right here that's a part of this fitness category. And in fact, if I load that up here, it's just enter text at the moment. And if I scrub, you'll see it's just enter text. Now, instead of leaving template at none and just going into Title Designer and making a unique title for this instance, I'm going to drop down and choose a template. Now, when you first start out, you'll want to create new templates or open up project files that you've had previously to make them a template by opening them. They come into this list, but I'm going to choose a template that I've already loaded up called Cobalt. And right here we have Cobalt here, uh, a nice orange color, and go ahead and play that. And this template already has a couple text variable fields applied. It's got name, subtitle, uh, let's change this up a bit. Let's say <laughs> this guy isn't Jennifer. He is Steven Bollinger. Let's call him uh, Training Supervisor, let's say. Hit Enter. And now we have Steven Bollinger, Training Supervisor. Now we want to go down to this other instance in the timeline. Here is an instance of Title of Pro that we haven't done anything with yet. Let's load this up. And we can scrub through see the girl in our preview and we want to choose that same cobalt template so let's go ahead and pick that and now we get the same style although we have uh, from me working with this previously uh, it saves the text strings that you last left in there um, we have Jennifer Talbot and she's a training instructor uh, we could change that if we want but we'll leave that as is now let's say that we're working with this template called cobalt but we have a stylistic change the person that wants this video done doesn't like orange anymore. They want blue. So we are looking at the Cobalt template. It's in the drop-down list here. Let's click into Title Designer. 
and there's a number of things on the timeline, but one of them here is this orange pill or box. Let's go into the style tab. You can see that we have these different style elements and let's just go into the gradient and let's change this over to some kind of blue and uh, change the other gradient element to a sort of blue. So now we have a nice blue look and we'll click OK. Now we're going to close down the title designer and we're presented with a question because we've just made a change to this particular title right here on our timeline and the question is hey do you want this change to be unique on this clip or do you want to apply this change to any title that's looking at this template I want to apply this change to the template so now we have quick edit popping up here and you can scrub through and see Jennifer Talbot has her blue lower third happening if we scrub back to Steve you see now he has that same blue because he's looking at the same template. So you can see how you can have a lot of powerful management of having individual text strings in different locations but really having a high level view of managing your style and your look with a number of different titles. Now just to show you that there really is variety here let's scrub later into the timeline and let's see this other template that's under operation. In fact if we uh, simply click over to Chad Edinger here we can see what's happening. In fact, let's uh, let's load him up. Go ahead and play that. Now uh, he has another template called Stratus. Notice Stratus is one of the other templates in my drop-down list. Now there's an additional element here that's available to us. Something called background. This is an image that has been exposed in this particular template. So let's go into the title designer to look how did, how did this template come together. So we'll go to Chad Edinger and object tab just to remind us that we have that text variable that we could get, give it a label name this other training specialist it's also exposing a text variable well what about these image variables well as you know titler pro creates text styles or shape styles out of different style layers so let's go to the style tab and there's various style layers here let's go to this background and see that it's simply made of one style layer and that style layer is an image so we right under this image have this image variable checkbox that I've labeled background image in fact let me just uh, change the label image right there close this down yeah I want to apply that change to this template and so now I have background image with this blue now what I could do here is change it right here. Let's go ahead and change that image to something different so you can really see how that applies. Let's go to this red background and you can see just with a little bit of scrub on the timeline that we instantly have a change in our lower third. Now let's go to this other clip. doesn't have anything happening on it yet. Let's go ahead and drop down in the template list and say you know what I also want Stratus to be the template that I'm using on this clip. But because I've exposed this image variable, I can do a different image that I want. So uh, let's say we could do something like a gray image here. Or maybe we'll change this up a bit and do a little bit of a video clip. So let's go ahead and play that and see what that looks like. So now I have this video clip happening inside my background, which is a pretty cool look. Now, if I wanted to change something about the template, I could do that. Let's go into Title Designer and there's this particular blue bar here let's say we don't want that to be blue anymore so let's go into its colors and let's uh, desaturate and just get into kind of a gray zone to be neutral in its color set click OK close title designer and you'll see once again we have this question hey is this something special for this title or do you want to apply it to the template so any title that's looking at it can take advantage of that style change well, we're gonna apply it to the template and I do this just to show you that now we have this gray bar here or pill within our design but the blue video background that has been chosen in the background image variable has remained unique to this particular title and if we scrub over this other title that red background remains unique to this individual title so you can see the levels of convenience that this quick edit feature found in title of pro 3 really brings to you you can do things simply as making a title and you have these text variables available to you for quick changes. Uh, you also have the ability to manage multiple titles all looking at one or multiple templates across your project, especially in the context of you know reality shows or a lot of interview work. This is going to make wonderful work of your titles and reduce the amount of design effort and make change orders very easy. This is Travis White. Thanks for watching.